what people are thinking at a very basic level. So this is all ideas, this is the future, looking just over the horizon. And maybe we'll see it, maybe we won't. What's important to us is pushing the future of gaming. It's really driving the next big... Okay, so we're live. And when we see somebody enjoying that... Hello. Technology oh. That we've helped to build, this is really proud. <sighs> Yeah, so we're live now. Sony's E3 press conference. Fascinating stuff, you know, and uh, I'm actually very pleased to be joined. This is currently the. Uh, Mr. Thanks, Sid. Delighted to be here. Yeah, this is just the pre-show bit. Um, so we've got a little bit of a uh, little bit of time, about 15 minutes or so before the show goes live. It's been a big day for E3 today, actually. So the Ubisoft conference was obviously a bit of a, a bit of a surprise fest. Um. <gasps> this, this is this is a megaton already. This is amazing news, absolutely amazing news. <sighs> That's actually made me really happy. I, I love Super Hot. I love Super Hot and I can't wait to play in VR. Yeah, I'm excited. Super hot. hot. Super hot. Super hot. Oh, Super can't believe that's coming. Hot. So happy. Super hot. Super hot. Super. Can't wait for that. This looks like that game that they did in PSVR Worlds. Hot VR and Spark, two stylish games, both coming to PlayStation VR. Super Hot will be out in a few weeks. Spark a little later this year. So, Andrew, Super Hot's uh, out in a few weeks. Wow, that's well, that's a pretty big game deal. I think was teased last week and is a long-running franchise, and we have a new entry in it. So let's take a look at what that is. Plans for the wall have been approved. Cuban commandant died. The UK has left the European Union. Which has caused a big crisis in Spain. They have also aligned themselves with people to this. This, this must be Tropico. <sighs> yeah, I think this must be Tropico. Strange there's a couple of announcements in the pre-show though. I didn't expect that. Fellow Tropicans, thanks to me, Tropico is an undisputed paradise. But the values of our paradise are now being threatened. Threatened by populists and despots. I, El Presidente, will prevent this. I accept the nomination for another presidential term. I will make Tropico even greater, even bigger. I said I wasn't going to dance on the stream, better. so this is for sure now.
Instead of walls, I will build bridges, bringing tropical islands and people together, rather than separating them. New means of transportation will offer great opportunities of exchange to you and our visitors. <laughs> I will bring diversity, culture, and the wonders of the world to tropical, so that all other nations will look upon us with envy. Okay, drop, okay, that's fair enough. Okay, just bear me one second. Hey, and that was the world debut of Tropico 6. It's coming to PS4 in 2018, Mr. Andrew Kelly. New developer, ton of new additions. <coughs> Exciting. Yeah. Is that it? Is that, are we out of game? There we go. Actually, we've got another one here, and this is one I've been looking forward to talking about. So um, it is a game that it was a massive critical hit when it came out last year. It's got a huge fan base when it launched on PC. And basically, it's, it's something that I think a lot of fans have been dying to see for a long time. So without excited. further ado, I would say let's check out that game. Let's take a look. This summer. The hell is this? PlayStation owners will finally feel the rush of burning in hell. <laughs> yeah, it's Undertale. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, I didn't play Undertale, but I uh, think I'll be uh, probably giving that a go. folks we've got a special physical version of undertale that comes with an illustrated story <laughs> booklet as well as a beautiful collector's edition box set that includes the game the booklet the official soundtrack and a dazzling gold-plated musical heart locket <laughs> undertale for playstation 4 part of a complete breakfast also coming to playstation vita okay They haven't forgotten the Vita. That was awesome. Undertale is coming to PS4 and Vita. Andrew, I never played that one. Ah, it's so good. I have played it. It is full of heart. It's charming. It'll make you laugh, make you cry. You gotta play it. So, speaking of masterpieces, I understand you're a big fan of Nino Cooney. Yes. Yeah, I really sunk a lot of time into the first one. It's 80 hours. Five minutes. Game. Five minutes. Uh, yeah, Five huge minutes. Fan. Well, this next piece is going to make you really happy, I think. We have a new trailer for Nino Cooney 2, Revenant Kingdom. So let's check it out. Such a beautiful kingdom. But then, beauty never lasts. I see something in you. We all do. A good king listens to his subjects, Evan. There is one who brought the world together. And who was that? Ferdinand. Mighty Ferdinand. Bella! You will return her to me. <laughs> so long. My plan is complete. Your king's bond is mine.
I didn't get into the first Nino Kuni, so I'm not uh, not overly excited about this one. Time to make our pact. Here goes. Hold up the royal twig. Great stuff. Nino Cooney 2 looking good. And welcome back, folks. Thank you. Not long, just moments away here. From this the guy does not look Nino impressed with anything. Kind of the main event of the night. I think we've had a lot of great stuff on the show here tonight. But, um, I was saving one extra thing. There was a, a special something I wanted to save. So um, have you guys heard of PlayStation Experience? I thought, yeah, I think so. I think yeah. it. it's called PSX. <laughs> sometimes we call it. So this is the thing where fans can come, they can gather. We have games that aren't out yet; they can play. We bring game developers; they can hang out with panels. It's it's a big party, basically. Yeah. So well, I can actually confirm to you guys tonight that uh, PSX is happening for 2017. Nice. And it will be coming December 9th and 10th to the Anaheim Convention Center. We, uh, we loved our time at the Anaheim Convention Center last year, and we're yep. going to be back. So Wonderful. Very nice. My suggestion is uh, to book your travel, to get that time off, you know, before all the other folks at the company do, <laughs> and get ready to have a great time. It's and always a blast. It's such an incredible, so special experience. Do you guys have any uh, particular favorite memories of uh, PSX? I know you've, you've both been. Yeah, you know, I think one of my favorite memories of PSX was getting to watch people who had never done VR before do VR, and then the minute they take that helmet off, they're like, whoa, like, that was a really cool experience, really it's special. It's really powerful stuff yeah. to see people do that. Mr. Clark. Uh, for me, the, uh, the second one, when Sean Layton came out on stage with a Crash Bandicoot <laughs> shirt on, uh, but didn't announce for Crash Bandicoot. Pretty much trolled the entire audience. I thought that was pretty funny. And then Capcom Cup was that year, too, so so I enjoyed that. That was a awesome. good year. They're all great experiences. Yeah. Uh, for me, I think it's got to be the reveal of The Last of Us Part II. Uh, I mean, just the way that that built up and just seeing the emotion, you could feel it radiating out of the audience. It really is something special. We, we, of course, we'll stream it. We'll do all of that. But I really urge people to, to come. So it's December 9th and 10th, Anaheim Convention Center. We're doing PSX. Oh, awesome. There. It's official. Now, ticket, ticket info, we're going to have that in the weeks to come. We okay. don't have any of that now. We'll have further details in the weeks to come. But for those who want to book travel, for those who want to like get time off, now you know. So hey, folks, it has been a it has been a fantastic night. But we are now ready for the PlayStation E3 Media Showcase. Let's go to that now. It's time. I'm gutted. I am genuinely gutted that I'm not there this year. That's going to be really annoying. It's like the skipping kind of. It, it's doing it. It's doing it for everybody. Apparently, it's, it's something on the Twitch stream. Abzu. Yeah, that, that moment made me actually do a little poo. Ace Combat has been delayed, but it's still in the show. This is so annoying, guys. I'm so sorry. Like... And here, and here, and here. This is live TV. They're kicking off this. We can store more shows 
than you could ever watch. They're kicking off their show devices. with PlayStation All View. Us. The rules of TV have changed. It's time to change how you get it. PlayStation. <sighs> okay, so it's not actually the start of the show. PlayStation Days of Play with limited edition gold PS4 at 249, discounted games and more. It's nine days of epic deals. Okay. Seems like they might have just had a couple of commercials on the go. Oh man, I miss that. It was awesome being there last year. So good. I think this could be an Uncharted thing. So I'm, I'm getting annoyed already, like this stream is flickering. Yeah, it's good to uncharted. There's no audio. They've not put the feed audio in the chat. That's not just me. Can't be the only one. Yeah, so the audio input's not actually been put on, so we can't hear what's going on on the uh, display.
this would have had so much more impact if the audio was working, but it's not. I mean, I'm sure that was really impressive. <sighs> Is that... It's snowing in the auditorium. So it's a new gorilla... Or is this, this has got to be Horizon DLC, surely. <sighs> yep, Horizon DLC. <laughs> and again, there's no audio. Man, Sony have dropped the ball on this one. YouTube stream audio is fine. Okay, right, apparently the YouTube stream is fine. So this is a trailer for Days Gone. So what I'm going to do is jump over to the uh, YouTube stream. Um, I can only apologise for this, but I'm trying to get the get this sorted out. A S A P. Yeah, this looks like you, uh, your game, are having the same problem as well. So this looks like it actually might work. Yeah, there we go. So we got. You sent many of us firing. The quality's not great on this one. There we go. Okay, we should have audio now. Apparently now I've switched over to the uh, to the YouTube screen. It's now gone back on Twitch. So, right. So day's gone. Oh, hello. And here we go with a bit of a fist fight. You want some of this? Okay. So we've got some quick time events. Stabbing. YouTube stream seem a bit seems a bit more stable as well than the Twitch one. So that's Manny's bike. 
So the Horizon DLC is the Frozen Wilds. No release date, I don't think, but all in for some Horizon DLC. This looks quite pretty. Oh, nice, they're doing the thing that they did last year. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Can you remember when they did that last year, Gary, with the, uh, the mannequins dropping down for the Resident Evil thing? This really does look very impressive. So is this kind of like a... Has he set a trap for that guy? Okay, yes, it's like a bear trap that you set. Okay. You don't have to go around shooting everything. It might look a little bit dark on that stream, so I'm just going to uh, lighten it up a little bit for you guys. There you go. That should be a bit better now. Hopefully it's not desaturated or anything, but... Okay. Drop him now, or I'll kill him. Do it. I'm not here for him. I'm here for you. I wasn't gonna let him kill you. Besides, who the hell is around here knows how to rebuild a carburetor? It's a zombie bear. <laughs> Gone then. Are we not getting a release date? 
Please welcome to the stage, Sean Layden. Here comes Mr. Layden. Welcome. Welcome. Good evening and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, fans and friends. This is, the, this is your 2017 PlayStation Showcase. Thank you for coming tonight. Okay, so he doesn't have a t-shirt on this time. Yet, of course. Party Dog Gorilla Ben, out of control. I thought this opening was completely uh, insane and uh, because I had to walk under zombies to get on stage just now. They didn't even tell me about that last night. Um, we're glad to be here. We're delighted to be here. We have a full show ahead of us, so um, let's just agree that we love games and we want to see more of them tonight. It's all about the games. Every year we continue to push the envelope of storytelling, imagination, and technology. And 2016 was no exception. Virtual reality is now a real consumer product, and our consoles are more powerful than ever, offering 4K and HDR options. With, we'll take a moment for that. With the launches of PlayStation Days Gone VR, looks a lot Xbox better Pro, than it did last year. once again stood at the forefront of bringing these technologies to the world of interactive entertainment. And now, in 2017, it continues to be all about the games. In the past few months alone, have given us some of the most creative, high quality, and engaging video games ever seen. Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> Neo. Resident Evil 7, MLB The Show, Persona 5. And yet, we have an even broader, more diverse selection of blockbuster games coming soon. You, you will see, you will, that's the plan, right? You will see tonight that Worldwide Studios is bringing you the exclusives you want, and through our strategic partnerships with third-party partners, PlayStation is home to all the biggest and best franchises in the world. It has never been a better time to be a gamer. Thank you all, all <laughs> Where's Vinny all from Giant Bomb? ...for your support and for making PlayStation one of the most loved brands in the world. There's never been a better time to play video games. <laughs> and thank you all for being here tonight. As we open E3 and celebrate the world of games, this week is our web portal. We have a web portal this week. Live.playstation.com will serve as the home for hours of programming including developer walkthroughs, Q&A sessions, in-depth conversations, and so much more. But tonight, let's recognize the art of gameplay with a showcase of the most anticipated titles here at E3. So, without further ado, let's get back to the game. Before I step off, it's my personal pleasure and a privilege to share with you now a title that has a rabid cult following around the world and has a very special place in my heart. Please enjoy. Okay. If this is Vib Ribbon. Spare mind, he teased that last year, didn't he, with his. Uh with his t-shirt. Nah, it's not Vib Ribbon. <laughs> I just monster hunter then. Massive sword kind of implies that it's monster hunter. never been a fan of the Monster Hunter series. I don't know what it is. It just doesn't really appeal to me all that much. Oh, 
Although this does have dinosaurs in it. <laughs> wow. Forget my TV will turn itself off <laughs> shortly, so I just need to make sure that doesn't happen. That's quite cool. Yeah, it's Monster Hunter, definitely. Okay. I wonder if that implies that there's some sort of MMO aspect to it. Master and Shadow of the Colossus. Oh, yes. Hell yes. Oh, don't do this to me now. Not now. straight back to there. Yeah. Wow. So, Shadow of the Colossus is, is coming. Um, wow. All biological life must be exterminated. Oh, is this Marvelous Capcom? Sigma has two of the infinite six. Gamora, we have Thanos. He raised you as his own. Convince him. Have you come to beg for my help? You have no choice. Help wow. Us. Shadow of the Colossus. Please. That's that's amazing. And I will give you what you want. Give us cause to trust you. Help us to find the infinity stones. Very well. The stone of power lies at the heart of no room. Bear witness to the death of your world. Zero? His core routines have been rewritten by the Grandmaster. Nova, Major, get to the core. Okay, so Marvel's Capcom does look pretty good. 
conduct needs its key. We had a dream. Our two diseased realities united to form a single perfect universe. I am an Empionic Commando stand by side. You are no You have your diversion. Make it count. No, wait! <laughs> Ninjas. Story demo download today. Ebony, Ivory, care to dance? <laughs> I thought I'd seen everything. We're in a whole new world. So this is COD. If it's not Call of Duty, then it's another wave of World War II games. Yeah. <laughs> Digging the vibe of this. All that's missing is some twelve year old screaming how he shagged your mum. Whoa. This looks really good. Here comes the VR moments. Skyrim VR, okay.
Yeah, alright. I'll, I'll probably end up with a copy of that. Is this going to be like a kind of focus down while you watch stuff happen in front of you, I think? The Supermassive games, they've got two games on the go. So, it was a new Supermassive game just announced. But yeah, just announced on the uh, pre show. Patient. Oh, Christ. Hmm. You're welcome to join me. Oh, so the. Okay. I mean. That's exactly what I wanted from Final Fantasy XV. Was a VR fishing game. Cool. There's no actual crowd reaction audio, so I think uh, there's another supermassive game. Bloody hell. I think they've actually cut the crowd audio for some reason. This is going to have to use the aim controller, surely. Okay.
See, they're all clapping. It's just quiet. Ah. Uh-oh. Actually just managed to knock over a thing there. Hey, Nico's here. So I don't really know what this is. <laughs> yeah, they're not really reacting to that. Okay, so back to games again, I guess. Got a war. Are you going to do it? Now, do we get a release date? <laughs> you said I was cursed. I think I'm weak because I'm not like you. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth. Hang on, boy! Okay! The truth. from home, aren't you? And here I thought your kind was supposed to be so enlightened. Wow, that so looks incredible. Than us. The gods of these realms don't take kindly to outsiders, trust me. When they find you, and they will, they'll make things difficult. Wait here. I will handle this.
Ooh. Wow, that was uh, something that the fight. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so it looks like you get to play as the kid at some point. Be attacked by all manner of creature. To be effective in combat, a warrior must not feel for his enemy. Close your heart to their desperation. Close your heart to their suffering. The road ahead is long and unforgiving. No place for a boy. You must be a warrior. Wow. But not everyone is bad. Mother always said to be open to those who can help. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past. He is your son. And he needs his father. Dad of war. Here we go, this is what God of War is all about. What is this? It's the world serpent. Wow. I'm gonna kill that with a big old axe. Help, eat. The, the words could sound the same. <sighs> Are we getting a release date? Come on, give us a release date. Give us a release date. Early 2018. Okay. Detroit time. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a Just a little while longer, everything will be alright. I've got a soft spot for Quantic Dream games. This is a night our people will remember. There are five cyber life stores across Detroit. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. Neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's ten minutes until all our teams attack. You're awake now. Why do I recognize that dude? Who is he modeled on? Genuinely thought the stream was playing up for a second then. <laughs> We are superior to them, but they are our masters. 
That's about to change. I'm gonna send the humans a message. What's that guy's name, the actor? I want to say it's Jesse something, but I can't remember. My name is Marcus, and just like you, I was a slave. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom, and decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. We're with you! I'll follow you, Marcus! I'm with I'm you, Marcus. you, Marcus! I'll follow you, Marcus! We're with you. And follow me. We interrupt this broadcast with breaking news. Police report that pro-android graffiti was found in the neighborhoods of CyberLife stores. Given the facts, it's pretty clear these attacks are linked to the deviant video message broadcast recently from the Stratford Tower. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated attack. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Violence is the only language humans understand. Numerous storefronts have been broken with cars vandalized and set alight, leaving many Detroit neighborhoods in chaos. I also... Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if pacifism is, not, uh, is a proper word. I would have probably said peace is a better word, to be honest. I'll definitely be up for this. I think I always say I've got a bit of a uh, soft spot for um, for Quantic Dream games. This is our story. Please welcome David Cage. No, okay, they're just plowing through the trailers. This is... They are booking it. Right, I think I just heard Nico scream from here. It's destiny time.
knowing David Gage's Detroit will be out the same time we actually get androids. Yeah, that's fair enough. Equivalent to PS4 Pro, that gameplay was. Okay. PlayStation brings you exclusive content. Got an exclusive strike. Gear and shit. Come on. Come on. There we go. Please welcome back to the stage, Sean Layden. Okay, everybody, just breathe. Yes. <laughs> That was quite the roller coaster ride for the last 60 minutes. Thank you all so much for being here tonight. The future is here and it is now with PlayStation 4 Pro and PSVR. We could not be more excited than to kick off E3 2017, celebrating the content and the creators who make PlayStation this the best would, place to play. For this you. would be a bit weird actually if this is the end, because. Let me leave you. Hmm. With a true PlayStation exclusive, a true exclusive from PlayStation, <laughs> from one of the industry's most respected developers. Bit of a dig at the Microsoft one there. Let me thank you again for coming tonight. A shout out to my courageous friend Ronil Mehta for struggling on through. And now, everyone, please enjoy the ride. It's got to be Spider Man, hasn't it? Units, all units, 1010 asset 36 in park. Repeat, all units be advised. Shots fired at Pesk Towers. Yuri, I'm here. What do you see? Find the rest. Boss wants them dead. Looks like the demons are moving in on Fisk's territory. You got this? I got this. Oh, actual gameplay. Here we go. <laughs> That's cool. That's very cool. I like this. <laughs> this looks very uh, Arkham-y. Nice. You got what you came for. You don't need to kill us too. <coughs> This territory is ours now. Not today. Spider-Man! That's such a cool mechanic. Oh man, my stream's gone a little bit blurry. Yeah, it's sharpening up a bit now. Hey, Willie. You. Nice jumpsuit. Slimming. Stay out of my business. 
Wait, the demons. Who's their leader? Keep my men alive and maybe I'll tell you. Okay. Taking bad guys from other bad guys. Not how I thought today would go. Stream's been a bit blurry, but man, this does look good. Here we go, it's sort of sharpened up now. This looks great. Getting a very big Arkham Knight vibe from it, which, uh, you know, I'm happy to see. the demons you're about to find out check the roof he's here oh that's cool Where he does his thing. That's very cool. I mean, quick time events aren't the best way of doing things, but like in terms of that, yeah, that's that's a cool way of, of getting around that uh, problem. That just happened. Yeah. Yes. Swinging about the city. That's oh, this looks so cool. If this game lets you do that kind of as a standard thing, then hell yes. Wait, why is this building on fire now? Oh, right, there's a helicopter at the end shooting into it. Hi, is this the flight to Newark? Why are you doing this? Because no one else will. Okay. This is the plan! Come on, Pete, you got this. You got 
got this, you got this, you got this! <laughs> Please don't screw this up. Yep, all in. All in. Ah. So it's not uh, it's not out this year. And this is your sizzle reel. So not a huge amount coming this year. Didn't get a release date for Detroit. God of Wars next year. Gran Turismo's this year. Uncharted's this year. The Lost Legacy. That's supposed to happen. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, obviously, Shadow of the Colossus is. Uh, that was a big surprise. Um. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, it's pretty good, but I, I was expecting something kind of like just one big final announcement. Um, I don't know. I, I we'll see, I guess. Um, I mean, Monster Hunter is obviously a big one for, for fans of the series. Um, the... No, it must be PS now. Yeah, I think one of the things that surprised me the most was um, was just the the emphasis that they put on like PlayStation Now at the start of PlayStation View and how many games they announced in the pre-show. <laughs> the pre-show actually had some good announcements. Um, Super Hot VR's come in. Um, there's a new kind of party game kind of thing where you get like uh, your phones and put your phones in with with other things. Um, to play, but yeah, I'd, I'd, I wasn't completely blown away with that. Um, I mean, for Microsoft to go for nearly two hours, oh, bugger it, I missed that. Sorry, um, it was Miles, appears to be Spider Man. So is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Lots of good games there, but but right, nothing. The E3 showcase here in the Whoa, hello. Oh, okay. That's gone back to Jeff Keeley's mates. Right. Right. Okay. So yeah, that's uh, that's the Sony conference done. Um, yeah, no Last of Us two. No price drop. Hmm. It was all right, but I'm really tired, so I'm going to go to bed. Bye. <laughs>